going to talk about lightning bolts and magnetic fields. They're sort of interrelated. Firstly, uh, I think everyone knows about lightning because they definitely see it. it uh, everything's normal and then suddenly out of the blue lightning comes. There might be storm, clouds, something like that. And it's a very much a uh, interruption to a natural way of thinking. It's suddenly very sudden, so people often associate it with the supernatural or with God or something like that. There's often images of God and Thor throwing down lightning bolts. I'm trying to explain it. Uh, but um, I'm just going to go a little bit about the uh, origin of it. Uh, so the major aspect of lightning is the production of electrostatic energy in clouds uh, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about how that's done. There's an uplift and uh, the moisture gets uplifted um, and so it's liquid, uh, liquid droplets, rain gets lifted upwards um, in a uh, thunder system. So what happens is the rain hits the hot ground, hot ground uh, vaporizes the water, the water then rises up very quickly. The water then is lighter than air. Air's got a molecular weight of 3228 for nitrogen second and oxygen first and water has a molecular mass of 18 units uh, U <coughs> therefore it's actually lighter so it's like every oxygen has now got a hydrogen little balloon blimp lifting it up into the air so this causes a huge updraft the updraft goes up and the water doesn't have anywhere to um, to fall into ice so it forms it goes up in a certain area and then uh, a particle fall through this water and gather um, uh, gather supercooled water, and this will cause a build a build up of um, um, charge. It's uh, so your um, uh, I think it is that the actual um, uh, rain draws rain drawing down draws negative charges as it goes through it becomes charged or it may lose charge as it comes through I'm not quite quite sure on it. So your uh, hail balls which go to a certain point go down and actually uh, um, either vaporize or hit the ground go through and such to create a, very much like a, um, a cloth rubbing a cloth or putting a foot across the carpet a static a static build up. Yeah. Some planes, if they fly into these clouds at the correct altitude, will suddenly have ice forming on them there with their wings. The, the rain will land on their wings and it will ice, ice or ice will form. So it's a, it can be a major problem. This is super cold water. So this is the charge build up. I just want to put a little bit of uh, uh, history here uh, with this Benjamin Franklin. Uh, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, famously had a kite and he uh, put it up in the sky and had a metal key on the outside the idea that um, a charge would go to the key and come down. And a lot of people believe that lightning struck the kite but he was more in proving that a kite in storm cloud conditions there'd be a charge build up and uh, what happened is the charge would go to the kite I don't quite understand why the key is all that important to this. We go to the car, run down the moist string conductor and go into a charge collection jar, which is a, a Leiden jar. And that, that would, would lift up, began to lift up. And so he, could, he, he was in a shed and put the uh, safety in the shed and safely made sure that he was a distance away from the kite. So if the lightning did strike, it would just blow the kite up and not 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 electrocuted him not possibly. I try to do things and they just somehow can always be the most noisy thing. This garbage being picked up at the moment. Sorry about this, just a little listen. Okay, now we've got the source charge and so you've got the charge uh, going from the clouds to the um, to the um, uh, ground and the energy of the lightning bolt is the actual solar energy stored in the ground heating up causing this large amount of energy st storage and uh, what will happen is that uh, the ground and the uh, 
the clouds will attract each other, one will be charged, the other will be the opposite charge. And you get two types of lightning bolts. This is lightning bolts travelling downwards and lightning bolt travelling from the ground upwards. An up, an up strike and a down strike. This is the thing to, uh, to know about it. And uh, so your, your energy is stored there. Your energy is stored there in the actual, I suppose, pressure of these, these large objects uh, wanting to come towards uh, towards each other uh, and not be able to so they're pushing across uh, however the air is is pushing against so there's a spring pressure in the air so this is uh, when it goes across now uh, if you do lightning bolt tracker on the weather you'll be able to see the lightning bolt uh, go and then the, uh, the power grid system can uh, look at the phase of everything and, and triangulate and work out exactly where the lightning strike has hit. Now we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, the important thing is that a lightning is from a large cloud area it condenses downwards into a lightning bolt. Now the lightning bolt has got a large current, the current creates a, a magnetic field. Uh, so we've said the magnetic field uh, from a current carrying wire uh, is B is equal to um, mu naught, I suppose mu, well, mu naught, it's a, it's a vacuum, mu naught i, the current, divided by 2 pi r. Now, it's such a simple formula because that's, it's, you know, right the definition of all our units, so everything's come out, out uh, sim uh, simple. Now, uh, mu is 4 pi by 10 to the minus 7. Uh, but the important thing is that this creates a right-hand wrap field. So if the lightning is going in this direction, it's got um, uh, magnetic fields going around it. And so if you've got two currents going in the same direction, they'll have their magnetic fields will pull them together. And so this means that I've got currents coming together and they'll squeeze together. And it's called a zeta pinch. That is, the current creates a field which confines its own plasma. And this would be great because a uh, more confined plasma would be a runaway situation of course um, so it does run away into your very hot plasma this creates this a vacuum the vacuum disappears dissipates and the air clashes down creating a light but you've so you've got a plasma um, you've got a current going from A to B and it starts off big and gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller now what actually happens is it becomes unstable and kinks so your magnetic field after a while kinks um, so this is more to do with I suppose the size of it it, it bends it uh, has a solution where it starts to put radiant um, magnetic energy out into a turn and the turn takes over and so your lightning will go your, your classic your Harry Potter zigzag like that but it, it goes for all, and if you even if you look at um, the lightning, um, uh, say when the lightning hits uh, wet sand, it will uh, heat the sand to a glass and pull out the glass, and you can actually see it's it's got large scale instability and small scale instability. The way that it, that it moves moves all the way through. So this is a major aspect of lightning. Uh, is the zeta pinch and the thing that's going across it. Now you'll see this in a evacuated gas tube. So you have a, a discharge tube and the uh, the gas slowly let into it. It will be a uniform charge where the current is uh, can't condense. Once the current condenses to a certain point it creates a small magnetic field and you get streamers uh, stream is going through it. Um, so often when you see something um, go at high charge, so it will get a corona discharge, a colour around it, but then you'll see streamers begin to form as the current builds up, up and up. There's a, there's a lot uh, to it. But that's uh, my general review of lightning bolts. So lightning bolts uh, are definite uh, were unknown to to um, to us in terms of the speed, but also the direction and the randomness. We sort of, you know, 
generally we can see something falling out very slowly and it goes in a particular uh, position but a lightning bolt is very fast and very unpredictable and it has some basic physics in it and that's uh, a charge imbalance creating a current that current creating something called a zeta pinch confinement of the plasma tube that plasma tube being unstable causing it to bend and all those unusual manners. So that's another example of magnetism.